This video is brought to you by the EA Creator Network. Hi again everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another speed build video in The Sims 4. Happy Wednesday, I hope you're all having the most amazing day ever so far and thank you so much for joining me here today. I'd just like to thank the EA Creator Network for allowing me early access to The Sims 4 Werewolves and today we are building a starter house for our sim for our brand new Let's Play. So with this being a starter house, it does come in under 18,000 simoleons which is very unusual for me I tend to go all out with my houses you've seen me I'll clutter them up it doesn't money is not a factor when I'm building my houses so for me to build a starter house it's definitely I definitely had to keep things in mind however the debug menu within this pack is so um vast that I definitely found it very very easy to make this house look lived in and cluttered without holding back too much it has one bedroom one bathroom and a small open plan kitchen living room dining space but you will see that when we get onto the inside it's really cute the items from this pack are amazing they would be perfect for a reg regster <laughs> I've had a long week, I'm sorry. They would be perfect for a rags to riches story um, challenge as well because they're very run down, very rustic looking, very makeshift looking and definitely my cup of tea. I love building unusual houses. I, I don't do it very often on the channel for some reason. I definitely used to do it more back in the day. So when packs like this come out, it's really refreshing for me to be able to sort of go back to my roots as it were, <laughs> to be able to go back and do houses that I used to build a couple of years ago. They've got more character. Nothing is necessarily matching. It doesn't really matter in that respect. And it's it was just really refreshing for me to not overthink it like that kept budget in mind the entire time and um, everything that you're seeing here is from the werewolves build by catalog now i will be releasing a build by overview at some point i think i'm going to record that tomorrow after work and then on friday i'll probably record the world overview then over the weekend we'll be doing the larger speed build and then next week we can start the let's play that's sort of how my mind is sort of processing this at the moment i may well be able to record the build by overview and the world overview tomorrow after work we will have to wait and see i have a very busy work let me start again i have a very busy week at work this week so you'll have to bear with me in terms of content but i wanted to get a video out obviously today because embargo has lifted for me to be able to showcase some of the items for you and I just want I wanted to do it because it's important to me anyway you can see that we're working on the landscaping here I believe this fence is from a debug menu from another pack along with some items from the eco lifestyle pack from the looks of things to me I did notice a few items um like there's a there's a debug sort of broken down dresser and a broken down cooker and things like that um very interesting that they've reused those items i'm sure there's a reason for it but if you don't have the eco lifestyle pack then it's not, not something that you would necessarily notice so this is not a restricted build in that i did use a plethora of packs <laughs> to be able to achieve this look and it's more so because this is for my let's play i will be posting it on the gallery when the pack is released worldwide tomorrow and the tray files of course will also be available but this was more built for me and my sim not necessarily as like a generic build like most of my other stuff so it's it's slightly out of my comfort zone doing that because i don't usually build for me and i know that sounds really silly because obviously i'm the one building but I'm, i try to build for you guys you know and, and try and tick as many boxes as possible but for this one i wanted to build for the sim that we've already created so this is what we ended up doing and i think for 18,000 simoleons i think it, it it definitely does the job i think i ended up with a thousand simoleons left at the end of it as well which is good so that we when we start delving into gameplay i don't necessarily have to worry about jobs and things like what job would a werewolf have i've no idea i, I gameplay wise i've no idea what i'm going to be doing i know that I want her to get bitten by a werewolf in order to turn into a werewolf. That's what, that's kind of my thought process. I don't want to just 
go back into create a sim with a cheat and then make her a werewolf i want it to be more organic than that and i, I have already changed her hair to one of the hairs that came with the pack itself i'm more than happy to do a cast overview as well obviously it's outside of my comfort zone but if it's something that will be beneficial to all of you if if i'm the person that you come to for videos like first of all that's that, that's mind-boggling to me but <laughs> If you don't go to anyone else, I'm more than happy to do a cast overview as well, even though it's not necessarily something that I delve into too often. Anyway, the exterior of the house is almost done. As I, I don't know whether I said this at the start, it took me about, I think the footage ended up being 54 minutes. Don't ask me how I remember. <laughs> so it didn't really take me too long to pull this together. And I've no doubt if I didn't keep I kept stopping to look at the items because obviously this is my first look at the items so I think I was very just interested in what was what and what's this and what's that especially with the debug menu because I love looking at debug items when a new pack is released it fascinates me <laughs> don't ask me why I know it's a really really weird thing but anyway this is the inside of the house <laughs> as you can see it's very small but it's just for one sim and I wanted it to be as cheap as possible to run like to upkeep you know with like the rent and stuff like that um or what is it called in the sims oh rent mortgage like what is it called i know it's not called a mortgage bills they're called bills aren't they <laughs> you can tell i don't play the game very often I'm, I'm definitely more of a builder anyway the floor plan is really really basic there's a small entryway there's a bathroom off to the left a bedroom and then as i said a very very small kitchen dining living area but the the items that we've used on the interior, I'm in love with the sofa in the living room. <laughs> I love it so much. And here I am just toying around with the idea of changing up the colour scheme on the outside because I wasn't too keen on the teal windows on the interior of the build because I had no intention of bringing that colour on the inside. But it didn't matter to me. I just I, I, I kind of thought, well, it doesn't matter. Not everything needs to be matching in this build. And so I kind of came away from that. But we do end up using some kitchen counters from Cottage Living because we didn't get any kitchen counters with this particular pack. Whether I find that strange or not, I'm not entirely sure. With it being a game pack, probably not. Uh, you know, we got a new world and we got loads of other items. So I wasn't too surprised to see that. I was quite surprised to see that we didn't get a wooden floor with like scratch marks built into it that surprised me this is the only flooring this sort of like teal tile that sort of like has has some of the tiles pulled up and some cracks that is the only flooring we got with this pack so yes it did surprise me when i didn't find at least a wooden flooring as i said with some scratches built into it again very minor but maybe something that i was expecting we didn't get a new shower sink or toilet um, there's a few wallpapers, there's a fair few windows and doors, there's some really nice wall decor. This is the sofa that I was talking about just here, I'm, I'm in love with this. This is so awesome, I can see me using it in like a rundown apartment as well. And I'm very excited to explore more builds in this world as well because they're very rundown, very industrial, very... Um, sort of old warehouse vibes and I'm all for it like <laughs> I'm in love with the vibe of this pack so much I think you can add so much character to the builds to the sims to everything and I'm really excited to delve into the gameplay as well as having a look at how the items can integrate themselves into builds outside of this pack as well I feel like for a little while at least I'm going to be doing more work on this world um i don't know what i'm going to be doing in terms of my save file and my throat just gargled so i do apologize i've just had a sip of my diet coke <laughs> and i feel like my throat just gargled a tiny bit there and um, the screen didn't freeze then i was I, I had my 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 little sausage dog next to me and he was on his back and he was like basically asking me to scratch his belly so i i ended up i forgot i was recording and i like scratch his belly and then i didn't cut it out of the footage Anyway, <laughs> I love how cluttered and homey and makeshifty this space is here and I didn't go too overboard with the clutter in terms of like using too many simoleons on unnecessary things. I hope that makes sense. So this for me is quite toned down and I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, 
wow, Rich, like this is toned down. <laughs> but I think it's because it's such a small space, it probably looks more cluttered than it actually is. <laughs> anyway, this is the bedroom. I decided to just put a single bed in here because this bed actually came with the werewolves pack and I think it's built on pallets and obviously it's got like a patchwork duvet on top as well which I think is really sweet the mirror is amazing this artwork here is incredible the rugs are awesome overall I am so excited <laughs> with the build by items from this pack I don't know if you can tell I don't know if that's coming across <laughs> <laughs> um, but I really really like it the bedroom is slightly um, a slightly odd shape but I figured it, it didn't matter the more character the better as far as I'm concerned I, I kind of wanted this house to be kind of like um, the sims built it from the ground up and they've just added to it and yeah I just wanted it to be like a proper werewolf house so I'm hoping we achieve that with this please let me know what you think in the comments down below um, are you planning on getting the pack I'll be really interested to see because I, I feel like there's a buzz in the community at the moment surrounding this pack which is awesome to see because I don't feel like there's been a buzz like this for such a long time so it's so refreshing to see everyone that's so excited about this pack and I, I would definitely recommend it just off what I've seen so far that may change in the near future I don't know but I, I'm definitely all for it right now and um, very shortly we move on to the the one and only bathroom <laughs> I don't know what my plans are in terms of the gameplay and sort of making extending the build or whether we move somewhere new I've no idea I, I, I really have no idea at this point point. Um, I haven't got many ideas <laughs> to be completely honest for this let's play but we are coming to the end of the video but thank you so much everyone for joining me here today the house will be available to download from tomorrow onwards so please check back for the download link and check back on my gallery my origin ID is Rachel Ped but thank you again for joining me here today you all take care and i will see you tomorrow when i post another video bye